Hey guys, this is Mike from BTech Reviews, and today we unbox and take a look at the Fujitsu RealForce TKL keyboard. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to take a look at the Fujitsu or Fujitsu, can't even say that. Uh, it says Topra Corporation though, uh, which again, this is called the RealForce TKL keyboard and it says PFU limited edition. So I really have no clue uh, or any idea of who makes this actual item. I just got an email uh, about a week ago asking if I could unbox this or take a look at it. I believe uh, this is this keyboard is around $300. So this is a gaming keyboard. So, so definitely I do not know if I will be uh, testing it or using it for any type of gaming, but I, I did recently purchase an, an Apple M1 uh, Mac mini. So I will be uh, most likely be using this uh, keyboard on the actual uh, computer and I'm gonna unbox it and I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts on the actual keyboard the build quality because again this is a $300 keyboard and I will link you guys uh, the item in the description below affiliate link if possible if not I will just give you the website link itself uh, but again uh, it says RealForce TKL uh, SA and that this is the model number down here and it says black and it says US layout silent so it's a silent but man this is heavy the box is heavy so on the back here let's take a look at the back here it says it's, it has Topra capacitive key switches, ergonomic form factor, so it's very small and compact. Uh, full end keyboard rollover, it says uh, key lifetime, so uh, I believe this does have a pretty good lifetime of um, warranty, or maybe not a warranty, but it, it'll last you a long time. Made in Japan, so that's even better, right? I'd rather have something made in Japan than in China, if you know what I mean. Just kidding, not knocking on China or anything. And then USB plug, so this is a USB, uh, again, it's a USB keyboard, and right now, if you guys saw my M Apple Mac Mini uh, M1 unboxing, you see that I have a cheapy keyboard, uh, uh, from on that I bought at Walmart for $10. So this obviously is not $10. This is going to be a lot more expensive. And I did, and I hadn't realized that there was such a market for for um, expensive keyboards. Like I understood, I understand that there's, you know, gamers out there, et cetera, like that. But uh, for the most part, like I didn't realize that keyboards could cost so much. So let me go ahead and slide this out of the actual box here. So it's a box inside of a box, okay. Uh, and I'm fine with that a box inside of a box. So let me go ahead and just fix the, the camera there for you guys a little bump. Uh, let me go ahead and get this open here. So pretty cool box. Hopefully there's not like bees in here or anything like that. Uh, so again, this keyboard is actually very heavy. Like this is probably the heaviest keyboard I've ever put my hands on like ever, uh, which is weird. This probably weighs a good like four or five pounds. No joke guys. Um, but that just goes to show the durability of this keyboard here. And again, it's it, it looks like it's a matte black color. And even the keys, even though it's, uh, and I'm gonna have to get a close up of that. Let me put this aside really quick. Uh, even the keys look very, uh, and I don't know if they light up. I'm gonna have to plug this in to find out right now. My Mac mini is updating, so I don't know. And I and I did respond, when they emailed me, I did actually respond to them asking them if they could send me a, a backlit keyboard, because those are, those are a little more appealing. And this, let's see what it comes with again. This comes with a, I have no idea what this is, guys, by the way. Again, there's a, there's a few things that come in the box. I'm gonna put this aside really quick. And let me go ahead and put the keyboard down for you really quick. I am going to check to see what's inside the box really quick. It looks like it's another little capacitive uh, button or layout for the keyboard itself. So it does come with like little I guess replacements for the under thing of the keyboard, I would say. Uh, and again, I don't know if I would ever open, want to open this up. I'm gonna put this back really quick. And I don't know if those are tools that come out. Hold on, let me. I'm just messing. I'm just messing this up more. Here's another one of these little things. I guess it's a little prior or tool so that you can actually remove the keys if necessary. So again, they're they're kind of covering their bases when it comes to all this stuff. I'm just gonna again throw all this back inside. And I'm gonna put I'm gonna put this aside really quick guys. I'm sorry about that. But anyways, here is the keyboard itself. So again from left to right. And again you see it's a matte it's a matte finish. And I'm gonna just kind of move it to the side here. So you guys can kind of see very, very 
I would say fat keyboard, like literally this, look at, look at the thickness of this keyboard. Again, this is the, probably the biggest keyboard I've ever had ever. And as you can see here on the, on the right side, it says real force. Uh, it doesn't, you know, this specific keyboard doesn't have a number uh, keypad or anything like that. So you won't get any of that with this. Uh, pretty much just designed again for gaming from from what the website says and I'll go ahead and maybe do a screen share of what uh, what this uh, keyboard has to offer uh, if you look at the back here though uh, it does say real force PFU limited edition model number Topper corporation uh, made in Japan so first of all I just want to again, again thank the company that that sent this out to me because again I've never been sent a keyboard I've had people email me about it um, but it just hasn't happened and again, I don't even think these light up so I'm gonna tell you this much They're very silent when it comes to the to the keystrokes. I can tell you right, right now uh, So let's go ahead and get this plugged into my Mac mini and we'll see how it goes Okay guys, so as you can see here uh, Right there uh, that I'm pointing at that is my uh, on keyboard that I spent maybe like ten dollars on at uh, Walmart a while back and here is the real force keyboard uh, which again it will be taking its place for the time being at least uh, to see how good this is again very big keyboard it's not it's not a light keyboard guys literally if I smack somebody with this I could probably like kill them or something like that so let me go ahead and unplug this really quick uh, don't mean and again like you can you can tell that the quality of this is like super cheap. Like it's very, compared to that one, that one's like a hard touch plastic. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on the floor here uh, just so that we can get that going for you guys. But uh, again, like the keystrokes on this are very, they're very light and they're very, I mean, honestly, I, I can't tell you if this keyboard is worth the $300 to be honest, but we'll find out. All right, so I do have this connected, so I'm gonna try to get a close-up shot of this, and I'll give you guys my feedback on this. All right, guys, so uh, we're gonna take a look at the Real Force R2 PFU Unlimited uh, Edition keyboard. So I, I'm gonna kind of give you guys a synopsis of this. So I'm recording over here while I'm recording on a screen here. Uh, so th this is what they sent me. Again, the brand is Fujitsu. And again, um, I've never heard of this specific brand anyways. Uh, it says, this is the Real Force R2 PFU limited edition keyboard in mid-size. It's an 87 key keyboard, black and color. Weight is 45 grams. So definitely, again, you're not going to be uh, moving this around much. It's going to stay pretty much solid on your actual, um, it's gonna stay there on your actual desk. You know, it's not an easy keyboard to just flicker around. Uh, the pricing of this keyboard is 305 currently marked down from 348 dollars so again this is the real force keyboard mid-size black keyboard so again uh, let me just go over the key features of this really quick and again you know uh, this is just my experience with it i am you know i am uh you know testing this out myself so you know definitely um take it with a grain of salt uh topra has it says Topra Real Force keyboards are high end keyboards built for maximum programming and gaming performance, designed for comfort and efficiency keyboard features, best in class capacitive key switches, which allow for durability and reduced user fatigue. So, definitely, like if I'm over here, like clicking, definitely I don't feel any numbness or anything like that. So, that's pretty interesting. Silent key switches. Actuation point changer, customize the key actuation point to switch to lightning fast responsiveness for gaming or adjust it for accuracy in typing. You can get up to 25% faster keying that com competing mechanical uh, keyboard. So again, it's according to this, you know, you have faster responses. Ergonomic shape, frame, and key setting. Con contoured key settings allow your hands and wrists to type in natural position, reducing hand and finger fatigue. Full and key rollover type as fast as you can. Real Force keyboards can keep up with any number of keystrokes to ensure that you always are in control. Key life terms, each Topper key switch is tested with to withstand 50 million keystrokes, guys. 50 million, that's a big number. Um, Real Force keyboards include Fujitsu products of America industry leading technical support, a two year advanced exchange or warranty. So if this thing messes up, Within two years, again, just remember that you will get a, a warranty for that, so pretty cool. 
uh, commitment to quality and durability. Again, here are some other keyboards. So I was actually wanting this one, the real the real force R2 RGB keyboard, because that one lights up. But again, they do have other uh, high end keyboards here, guys. And again, you know, this is pretty. This is just pretty crazy here. So. Um, definitely I can give you guys uh, the feedback though. Like I can go ahead and take a note here. Let me just go ahead and continue here. Let me go ahead and add a note here. And we'll go ahead and put new note. Can I type something in, in here? So that, just so you guys can see here. So hello guys, how is it going? This is B Tech Reviews and it's gonna auto correct here. Thanks again. Uh, that uh, Apple, but that's okay. This is B Tech Reviews, and I just wanted to let you all know that this keyboard feels pretty good while you are typing. This keyboard definitely, I don't know how to spell definitely, uh, has a great build quality, quality and feels very durable. The keystrokes are very minimal when it comes to sound, and I am actually really enjoying the, uh, this keyboard. My only complaint or gripe about this keyboard is, is that the keys are too high or stick out, you know, stick out too high. But that's really my only basic uh, qualms about this keyboard, guys. Again, like here is the keyboard on screen here. Uh, this kind of throws back me to my older Dell, uh, you know, I guess keys or keyboards. They are a little, they are a little fat, you know. If you want to compare it to something like, you know, something like this, where you know you can, and this is an Apple keyboard where the, you know, the keys are very small and and you know flat. And of course, you know, definitely not something that I can compare to too much, but that's a wireless keyboard. This is a, you know, a wired keyboard, but for the most part, you know, again, guys, you know, take it with a grain of salt, you know, this is a $300 uh, keyboard and, um, you know, it's really going to be used for something a lot different than what I'm using it for right now, which is gaming. And if I decide to do a gaming video guys on this, I will. So just, I apologize. I know this is a gaming keyboard and I'm not gaming with it. I'm not a gamer. I hope the people that watch sent me this know that I am not a, uh, a, a PC gamer, so to speak. But, but anywho guys, again, this is just a test and you know, you guys saw me testing that out. The keyboard does feel really good in hand. It is very silent. It does come with, you know, those, those little backup under things that go underneath the keys. So in case uh, you want, I guess, different sound or different feel, uh, again, you know, this is not, uh, you know, I do have this connected to my Mac. So this is probably going to be catered for uh, PC users, right? Because you do have shortcut buttons down here uh, on here, like the volume keys uh, right here on the bottom. You do have shortcut uh, buttons that, you know, will work a lot better with Windows. And again, you guys can see here. There is a Windows logo right there where my thumb is. Okay, right here. So again, take it with a grain of salt, guys. That you know, again, this is just you know my impressions of it. So please, you know, don't go too hard on me when it comes to the to the unboxing or the impressions here, guys. So again, guys, this is the Fujitsu, right? The let me go ahead and uh, minimize this. Real Force R2 keyboard. And again, if you guys like the video, don't forget to smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will again post up links to this product down below so you guys can check that out. Again, if I can post up an affiliate link, uh, I will get a kickback from that at no extra charge to the person buying this keyboard. If you guys are interested in something like this, check it out. Again, guys, this is Mike from B Tech Review signing off. Again, this is the Real Force R2 PFU Limited Edition Mid Size Keyboard. And again, if you're a PC gamer uh, and, and you want something a little more durable, heavier, this is definitely heavy. Uh, this might be something you guys might want to look at. It has a matte, all matte finish and definitely uh, something to look at if you guys are uh, into those uh, minimalist type keyboards that just really uh, you know, do what you need them to do. But again guys, Mike from B Tech Review signing off. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks again for watching.